Hi, my name is Ernst Elsner from Switzerland. I would like to inform you about the course that will be offered by the Stefan and Moshe Memorial University College, SMOCO, that might be of interest for you. Let me quickly show you a presentation. Let's assume you're a teacher used to teaching in a classroom with students in front of you. You want to take advantage of the internet with all the free learning resources to enrich your lessons. In the near future, you may even want to shift the focus of your course to more online activities. In times of corona epidemic, or with professional committed students, learners cannot attend classes easily. You need more flexibility with regard to time and place of teaching. You're quite familiar with using computers and the internet for your daily work. However, you are not an internet freak and have neither the time nor the inclination to become one. You just want to benefit from the technology that is all around us. You are frightened off by all this comprehensive educational literature as you can't possibly study all the books during your overloaded days of teaching. This course is for you. You will be guided step by step how to transform your conventional classroom training into a blended online course. You will get evidence-based recommendations on how to implement digital learning resources. In a nutshell, this course is a quick and easy way to convert your conventional courses into blended or online learning. You will be able to explain your colleagues what online learning is all about. You will understand the difference of teaching online and face-to-face. -face. You will critically review the method and discuss strengths and weaknesses of this approach. You will use strategies how to design an effective online course. By studying concrete example, you will see that online learning must be adapted to the learners and to the content and the context. You will develop your own online course and adapt the new method to your needs. You will apply new techniques in your project and share your results with others. You will give and receive critical feedback based on criteria. You will find, select and assess and even develop your own learning resources collaboratively. You will create a virtual environment for social learning. You will learn how to moderate asynchronous discussions and elicit an active involvement of the learners. You will run sessions of teleteaching to address questions, clarify misunderstandings and motivate the learners. A facilitator will coach and assist you during the week, provide feedback and give suggestions. What are the requirements for you to take part in this course? Participants need a computer, desktop or notebook with the corresponding office software. You will use the smartphone. You depend on the reliable access to the internet from time to time. You should have a few years of teaching practice. You need to be familiar with using computers for communication and administration work. The course will be delivered by Christian, an experienced educator with a solid foundation in ICT. Since decades, I'm consulting project teams who transferred lectures into online courses in Switzerland, in Tanzania, and in Southern Africa. Based on these experiences, a course has been designed with a corresponding website with many learning resources and I will support you via internet. Let's have a quick look 
at the content of the course. The course consists of seven modules. The first chapter is a kind of an introduction. The section provides the basics regarding teaching and learning in a blended and in an open learning context. We discuss the requirements of brain-friendly learning and compare blended learning, online learning and face-to-face -face learning. We will distinguish different models of online and blended learning. We, teachers and learners will talk about the challenges of uh, online learning. In chapter two, we will consider the target group, define aims and objectives, determine the course content, and specify the time structure and the proportion between self-directed online learning and face-to-face -face sessions. Now in chapter three, you will search efficiently for qualitative sound resources on the internet capture and convert open educational resources, and even create educational resources, such as PowerPoint presentations, video tutorials, documents, and websites. There's a course about PowerPoint presentation and how to create video tutorials. We will emphasize retrieval practice as an effective learning strategy and create quizzes and tests. All the resources can be made available on the cloud, in the cloud. Now let's go to chapter four. We will highlight the benefit of communication and social interaction in online learning. We will have a closer look at the media synchronicity theory and its implication for the designing process. Now in chapter five, you will design a website with uh, learning resources, assignments, activities, and synchronous discussion boards, tests, and quizzes. While producing multimedia resources, we will learn about evidence-based principles of design. In chapter six, by installing a help desk, <clears throat> we will establish a support structure for technical problems. We learn how to moderate asynchronous online discussions and how to make synchronous sessions more lively and interactive. And then the last chapter, first, we will decide what aspects to evaluate. The tutorial is intended to provide you with helpful tools to evaluate your courses. This course is expected to be run in August 2022 at SMUCO. The timetable for a week might look like this. Your main benefit taking this course are you will attend a full week of instructions, coaching, and feedback by Christian and me. You will get transport allowance depending on your transport cost. You will get a certificate of attendance if you're present, if you're present uh, at the minimum of 80%. And if you are willing to document your own e-learning project you can get the performance certificate issued by SMUCO. More detailed information about the course will be published as time goes on. Have a look at the website at, at SMUCO and on our training website.
I'm looking forward to a motivated group of participants. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.